All right, this is video number three. Uh, this is anatomy book. I like this one. I got it really cheap at a bookstore. And I must have, God, I'm looking at my desk. I'm, I have so many anatomy books. And I love them. But this one I'm enjoying. And uh, there's all kinds of different things. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'd be more focused on... The rhythms so if you guys out there could spend more of your time doing drapery that will help your anatomy probably more than all of the anatomy so I'm going to combine these I have no idea where I'm going with this but we'll have some fun I want to show bone and I want to show I want to show bone and muscle and try to make it so it's a finished drawing too so I don't know let's see what happens Let's try. We'll do this and this for the bone, and then we'll use the red for the muscles. Yeah, let's try it. What the heck? Okay, so let's see. So this is your clavicle here. And it comes together up here. What's called your cronium process. The scapula comes around the back. I'm trying to be accurate. Yeah, so my anatomy book's different. Here we go. Here's the front. So this right here is from the scapula in the back. So if you're having trouble memorizing the names, don't. They're not doctors. And I work with doctors. I work with some of the greatest brains in the Planet. These guys, oh, these women and these men are so smart. But I'm, you know, I'm the artist, and I look it up. Even if I know it, I look it up. Okay? Because sometimes, you know, one letter off, and uh, it's totally different. And again, they haven't figured out every different part of the body. So I, I approach every case as if it's brand new, like I've never done anything before. And I look it up. And I look it up a couple times. I just don't look it up once. So it's very time consuming. That's why it has to be a passion. And who knew that I would go from Bugs Bunny to forensics? Oh. But boy, do I love it. This right here is really important. So put a red line. This is where your deltoid is going to hit up against your cronium. You're gonna get this straight line on your model. And these I'm not even going by model, I've just got some master drawings I'm looking at, mostly out of my head. And this is your deltoid. So even though I've drawn a billion deltoids, I'm gonna Move on over to my deltoid page. Let's see, have some fun. And if you take the pressure off, I think you guys are gonna relax and have a good time. And the pose I want is not even in the book. So, I know it's in another book, some pecs. So this comes around the back like this. This fitting right there is really important, the way this fits. This is the difference between getting the job and not getting the job right there. The, the muscles fit, and that is your trapezius. So it comes around. Then this part here is gonna come from the front, attached to the scapula.
and it's going to disappear because it's going to go deep down to your humerus, which is the bone right in there. So let's uh, have some fun. See if I can hide this and make it a drawing and anatomy. This is your humerus. That's your bone way down in there. And it's going to go down deep and connect to that bone. Everything is just designed so you can eat. That's all. Just think of why we have these muscles. The entire upper extremity is so you can eat and draw. So just make everything go there. It's real simple. Okay. But it's the rhythms that's the most important. Have yeah, fun. Why do I look at anatomy books? Because I love anatomy. Really? Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be the scapula, the uh, deltoid. Your answer is going to be in these things called styrations, these little lines that go like that. Okay, so we got that. Okay, coming out is going to be your bicep. This is important. So this overlaps, and then you're going to have your pectoralis is the next layer. So everybody wake up. This is where the important part is right here. So you want to get that stretch. And this is going to go all the way to your sternum. So you're going to see bone right here. See that? Feel how this just stretches. And it's a bunch of different layers. So think of it as a bunch of rubber bands that work its way. So see how I'm pulling? That's the most important part. I'll be doing these lectures every Friday at San Jose. It's a little kookier though. You guys are in my studio now. So this right here 
This little cat shadow is because this deltoid is over your pectoralis. Okay. Then coming under that is going to be the bicep. This is the important part of anatomy. Not that you know the names, not that you are an expert anatomist. That's silly. Probably the artist is one of the few out there who continually studies the entire body. A lot of my doctor friends you know, like I'll talk to them and they'll say, I don't do that part of the body. Don't bother me with that. You know, so if they're a foot, you know, they mostly stay with the feet. Or if they're, you know, with the the face, you know. I had a doctor once says, why would I want to learn the muscles of the face? I don't know, because we draw a lot of faces. But this was not a face doctor. So yeah, they learned it, you know, medical school and... But I don't think they practice it every day. We do. We're artists. We're you know we got to stay with the whole body. So, yeah, we're doing it the whole time. Okay. And that's your bicep. But notice how I'm drawing these rhythms. That's the most important part. And then this part goes underneath your shoulder to what's called the coracle process. And yes, I am doing this out of my head. This is your brachialis here. And that's your tricep back there. Biceps, triceps. Okay, and then you're going to have one of my favorite, which is your brachioradialis, and uh, gotta love it. So it's going to come from here, all the way to your thumb. If you notice, the most important part is the rhythm. So watch, we're gonna go this way. Put a little arrow there. Then we're gonna pick it up here. And then come around here. And that's your Cal State Cools. And that'll come to a straight, and that'll stop your eye. So you go boom, 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 stop. I gotta laugh. I was watching these uh, these videos the other day, and it's like, I don't know, like, if I'm sitting here, and I'm looking at this thumb, and I'm going, like, look at these thinner muscles. They're, like, really cool. Like, they're, dude, you know, it's amazing how your thumb can just kind of kind of rotate like that, you know? So that's the way I talk. So when I teach, I talk the same. <laughs> I'm watching these videos. And all of a sudden, you know, the person becomes so clinical. And you can just see them going through their vocabulary, trying to come up with the most intelligent word. And I'm just dying, because you know they don't talk like that. You know, could you imagine, you know, like you're getting all romantic? And, uh, honey, I love the shape of your boxy deltoid. And 
or, or I don't know, they just talk like, or they're like real intelligent and real serious, you know, just like cracking up. It's like, dude, don't, don't be so full of yourself. So I don't know. To me, you know, dude, <laughs> so dude, not dude, you know, I do whole lectures just by your saying, dude. Okay, so we got that, and you know, so we're gonna go ahead and finish up. So if you're gonna look at the box, you know, the finger, it's a box shape. So I wanna combine all of the aspects of the drawing. I'm gonna combine all of the aspects of drawing the human body in one drawing to net out the maximum results for my students so that they can maximize the maximum results of their career. For we then, you know, it's like, shut up. But then again, that's my own problem. Okay, so here we go. So let's see where we're at time-wise. We are at 15 minutes. Let's move on to another video.